It's funny the silly Mad World songs on the radio. This song's so old. I never really liked it, but it's alright. It's kind of eerie. I was going to talk about something that uh, I think is a serious issue around Chicago. And that's these motherfucking people who don't know how to fucking drive. You know how many people I see beep at each other and cuss each other out on these roads for no fucking apparent reason? I've seen, these are chronic, unnecessary beepers. Habitual, habitual bitches. I just coined that term, habitual bitches. Because the little fucking faggots who I see beeping at people in front of them because the person is going too slow. And we all can see in front of us that the fucking light is red. That's what they're all running to. They're all, they're all rushing and rushing to wait. We got to rush to wait. If the light's red, get the fucking foot off the motherfucking gas pedal and coast that bitch. That's how you should drive. Especially if you got a fucking truck or a fucking three ton vehicle like I do. It's not just people in these little fucking these little fucking jet mobiles. It's fucking Oh my god, these people are so bad in Chicago. This is the issue. This is the problem you have when you have a population density over whatever the fuck it is here. Too many motherfuckers per square mile. And the Mexican... Chicago used to be not that bad to drive. People would come in my neighborhood. They'd come from, let's say, 63rd and Cicero East to California. They'd have to drive through a Mexican neighborhood, and then you got to my neighborhood. Anyway, (laughs) they'd be like, how the fuck do you live here? I'm like, well, first off, you took 63rd. You should have took the back road, 67th, which ain't a back road, but comparatively speaking. Mexicans... And Chicago does not enforce too many traffic laws. They hardly do pullovers. The suburbs will lock you up for all that petty shit. The city will now. But maybe five, ten years ago, you could drive drunk. You, ten years ago, you drive high. Man, you do whatever you want. As long as you weren't hurting nobody. Now, I think everybody's been locked up and dead and killed off and died. All the gangsters, all the criminals, all the, you know, habitual fucking criminals. They're all locked up. They, they toughen the sentences a little bit here. It's not like California, Texas, or Florida, or New York, none of that shit. But it's not like you you can commit murder and, and say, oh, I'll be straight. Shit. I already did. Like, you would hear the stories. People would plead guilty to murder and be like, I'll be out in three years. I already did three. Blah, blah, blah. You know how they talk. I got fucking, I'll get some good time. Not on murder, but, you know. Eight years was nothing. Eight years was really like three. And they already spent two years in jail fighting the case. So, like, you just took eight? Yeah, but I'll be out in nine months, you know. And on a case that nowadays, that's not really the main difference. The difference is something you would have got eight, ten, twelve years, six to thirty cases. Now are six to thirty cases. They used to get broke down. Them 6 to 30 cases, which are real class X felonies, they would never go above 6. They would always give you 6. Now people are getting 20 years for attempt murder. Attempt murder used to be 6 to 30, and you would get 6 years. An attempt murder was 6. If nobody died, you'd get 6 years. Bust that bitch down. Sometimes they, they wouldn't. They'd drop it down to some like manslaughter or something. Give them 6 years is now 3. Take that six months good time, you do two and a a half off six. Now, an attempt murder? This one dude? I always talk about this shit, jail and shit, but I just am baffled. I was baffled last time I was like, I was like, what do you mean they're giving you 36 years? How many people did you kill? Because I hadn't been been locked up in years now, but it was all when I was younger. But at that point in time, I hadn't been locked up for like six years either. You know, one time in the last 10 years. Um... I'm like, oh, who did you kill? A police? 
He's like, no, nah, man, they're giving me 11 attempt murders because I shot 11 attempt. I shot 11 times, or there was 11 people in the room, some shit like that, you know what I mean? I'm like, damn, so they're counting every time you, every person in the house as a separate attempt that it alone carries 6 to 30, and they're not going to run them all concurrent? They're not going to run all of them concurrent, they're going to run them consecutive? They used to just smash everything into the, you could get 80 years, right? But the highest case was 10 years. You'd have a 10, an 8, a 6, a 2, a 2, a 2, a 10, three tens. They would just give you one 10. You'd do five of that, minus good time, four and a half, plus time served. You'd be right on out. But now they got, well, the point of the whole thing was, the whole point of the whole story was, now they got to go after people for fucking traffic. Because they didn't lock everybody up and gave them fucking football score numbers. 35 years. Dude went to court. He said, man, they were offering me 36. They said, uh, they said they'll give me uh, 18. I think I'm going to take it. I'm like, that's crazy, but what can I I can't, I can't make them give you a better sentence. You know what I mean? He comes back from court like, I'm like, did you take the 18, bro? Are you up out of here? You go into the joint? You go spend 14 years in the joint? He said, nah, bro. They said the 18 is off the table and they're not trying to bring it back there they're back at 36 i'm like damn no wonder motherfuckers are up in here eating screws trying to go to the fucking cook county hospital to hug their family one last time uh it's that's so now all the all the, the criminals a lot of them are gone dead died motherfuckers are even locked up killed doped out a lot of the old motherfuckers are just fucked up, you know? They don't even resemble themselves no more. Time, time has affected them. You know, they ain't, oh, they ain't as big as they once were. They're older now, but these people out here with these horns have to stop. Somebody's gonna get killed unnecessarily or beat the fuck up or run into the wrong motherfucker and he's just gonna run them off the road or something, man, because people don't have no respect. That, like I said before, they 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 don't have respect for one another because they think they can get on the fucking phone and call the police, and the police are gonna run and save them. Back in the day, nobody was gonna save you. Want no cell phones either? What are you gonna do? Run to a payphone? Uh uh. There weren't no payphone. You know, you gonna dial that number? And get to that payphone before they whoop your ass? No. Now motherfuckers got cell phone where all they have to hit is like one button. Emergency call. Boom, that bitch is on speaker probably. And GPS, man. So motherfuckers can run off at the mouth, man. I remember, man, I remember people pretending to have cell phones when they were scared when cell phones first came out. I was like, are they pretending they're on a phone so that they don't get something happen to them? They ain't got a phone. So the cell phone issue is really taking people's respect level down because they don't have a healthy fear of one another. People think they can treat each other like shit, and it's too bad, too sad. I'll call the police if you try to, uh, you know, touch me. You know, if you threaten me, I'll say you hit me, man. Grown-ass men are, grown men are pulling the fucking stunt... Where they call the police and say that somebody hit them. That used to be a woman's stunt. A domestic stunt for forever, right? He hit me when he didn't, right? A grown-ass man pulled that stunt on me, man. I'm not talking to no more people because most people... I really got to get to know you because most people are straight fucking habitual bitches. And if you're a bitch like that once, you're a bitch like that always, man. If you call the police once... You ain't my friend, you ain't my family. Bye. I have nothing, I have no need for you. I don't have any, I don't have any need in my life for somebody who calls the police. Now, they call the police because buildings are on fire, somebody's getting murdered, etc. There's, you know, but if they start a fight and then lie and say somebody, oh my God. But yeah, man, and I always talk about, it's just, it's just, the. It, this is it. They don't want to let the people run the, the country. They don't want to let the inmates run the asylum. But they don't want to run the asylum correctly. So it's we're in limbo. 
people can't control the shit and make it right, you know, be responsible for their neighborhoods because the government wants to do everything and police their neighborhoods, yet they can't police the neighborhoods right. So it's a double fuck. You got a police army that's an occupying force most of the time and uh, a way for bitches to call some like to call them on you to save them because they were being disrespectful so the people don't have to be respectful and the people can, the people can't run the fucking world and the government runs it without giving a fuck just make sure kind of like they get their money people pay their taxes Nobody's robbing a bank, protecting the, the interests that they're paid to protect the banks, the merchants, the stores. That's who pays most of the property tax, these stores. So the police are protecting their products. You go steal from these stores, they're going to be there to arrest you. You go steal from a house, they're going to be there to arrest you. Then people live in that house, live in that town, that Chicago, they pay property tax. Them are the people that are there to protect, but they're really there to protect the rich and keep everybody from, you know, just taking what they want. But just like in the joint, they don't want to let the inmates run it, but they don't want to run it correctly. So you have situations like i seen where a man got trampled in the joint because it was commissary day. And the police were like, first come, first serve. So you got a doorway, right? Now picture a doorway. And then you got 800 motherfuckers trying to get through that door because the first 40 get to go to the store and shop. And the store runs out of shit, right? The canteen, some would call it. We call it commissary store. So you got all these big motherfuckers trying to fit through a door. Elbowing. Could you just imagine? Been working on elbowing to try to get to that store to spend money. And somebody got trampled. And I cussed the motherfucking police out. I was like, see now, if y'all would have did this shit alphabetically, by number, in some kind of fucking way, and, st and the police would sit back and laugh. These these country police, they sit back and laugh. They'd be like, ha ha ha, look at these stupid motherfuckers climbing over each other, fighting. Fist fights would erupt because people are stepping on each other's toes. Police would run up there and cuff them up. All right, everybody in line, get in line. Oh, now you want to get in line. Somebody got trampled. An old black guy got trampled, man. Motherfuckers just stepped on him. So that's the kind of world we live in. One in which they make the rules, then they don't enforce them right, and then they don't want to let... Now, if the inmates would have ran that situation, the inmates would have made it more orderly. Yet they don't want people to be able to run their own lives. The jail situation is a little more extreme, I admit it. But they don't want you to run your own lives. Yet they they do not want to good do a good job of running the city and the, you know. And Chicago is one of the better run cities, when it comes to like snow, shit like that. But that's it for now, man. If you're one of them motherfuckers out there running around beeping your horn like a little bitch, trust me, something bad is gonna happen to you. Karma's a motherfucker. I've been seeing lots of cases of karma lately. Go ahead. Rush up to them red lights for no reason. You know. Keep on playing with people too. Keep on beeping them motherfuckers and flipping them off and shit. Thinking everything's sweet. You're going to do it to the wrong person. Not me. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to. If you beep at me and I didn't do nothing. It depends on how you beep. I might just lay on my horn. I might just pull right up to your window. And just lay on my horn and give you a taste of your own medicine. I'm not going to sit up here and holler and shout. But I'll look at you and lay on my horn for no reason. Just to show you what it's like to have a horn go off for no reason. It's, 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 it's fucked up, man. These people, it's too many of us cramped. But yeah, I'm going on for a long time, man. Stop being little bitches with them horns. Habitual bitches.